So there are two types of motion. So pure rotational motion type, which is electromotor or hand crank, or we have the pure translational translational type, which is pneumatic or hydraulic cylinder, which is we call it as linear actuator, a linear motion. So rotation is all students understand that rotate and it's rotate with respect to one to a shaft, so it's going to rotate. Pure translational, or we call it pure linear. The, uh, linear uh, motion. Eh? So what does it mean is that for translational motion, you have x, y axis here. So uh, meaning that the movement which can be resolved into component along what of more axis. So if okay, let me just take a pen. If the so translation motion is that you have rotary to root, uh, oh, sorry, this one is not uh, correct. Uh, translation motion is that it resolves around components. So you have this translation motion either in this rotation. Okay. Okay. So this is what you mean by translation motion. And then uh, rotary motion will be something that rotate, uh, component rotate about one or more axis. So you have this one, you have x axis, we have uh, y axis here, you have z axis. So it means that rotating about one or more axis. So this one axis, so rotating about the axis. So this is what it means by rotation okay, along the axis. And this one is that uh, resolve along the, the axis, means that it's along the axis and moving along the axis. So we have four types. Actually, this one is not representing this translation. No, eh? it's actually um, different. So what I want to share is that there are four types of motion that you can actually apply for mechanism. The first one will be on the rotary to rotary. In fact, for example, just now is the back, uh, what, back drive. Eh? Back drive okay? And then you have the translational to translational motion, linear to linear motion. You have the rotary to trans, uh, linear motion. And for one is that you have linear to rotary motion. So we we'll look to how to actually convert this motion using different mechanism. Eh? So for the first one will be from rotary to rotary motion, okay? So you have few options here. If you want to actually apply uh, uh, this uh, rotation, okay? And why you actually, oh, we already have the rotary motion. Why we need to actually to, to, to use the mechanism to convert it back to rotary motion? The okay? reason why is this one. Remember, you either want to have force amplification you either want to have change the speed. So these are the two main things why you need the rotary to rotary uh, mechanism there. Eh? So uh, you can either use gear, you can either use linkages, change drive, and back drive. So let's look at where are these components in this figure. So for gears, so gears is this one. We have gears over here, spur gear, we have bevel gear, we have worm gear. Okay, so these are examples of gear. So, bevel gear is something that if you see, the gears is not perpendicular like this, but it's actually formed. If I were to draw this okay, in this uh, view, so you will see that this gear is uh, seated like this in okay, 90 degree angle. So, this is what it means by bevel gear, perpendicular gear by 90 degree. Okay. So you have this first gear, you have this second gear. A worm gear is something that you have the gear, it's type like a worm because it's rotating like this. This is going to, uh, to rotate and it's going to transfer the rotation from this rotation, okay, into this type of rotation. Okay? And also we have uh, the linkages. So linkages is, we have this type. Linkages. This is for bonding. Okay? We have crank rocker type, parallel type, and we have a diff, um, another one is double crank uh, type. So most of what, uh, most of the time when you have the linkages, uh, uh, if for gear, these two parts will have will uh, will actually rotate. Okay? And of course, you are going to fix it to a shaft over here. Eh? So this shaft is going to rotate uh, to fix, and this shaft is going to uh, fix. But for the linkages is that, if you see, at the end of the linkages, mostly it will be fixed. 
to the ground or some at some uh, parts lah. Okay, it's going to be fixed. Means that the thing, the link is the only part that going to be rotating. So you can see that this is connected. The, the rod is connected to this uh, end part, and this point and this point is going to rotate depending on this motion. Okay, so it's going either to rotate here and rotate there. And similar to this one, because of the way it's being set up, so it's going to give a different rotation. And next is change drive. So change drive is something that you have here. Change drive, pulley, bed, pulley, uh, pulley belt. Eh? And um, if you see here, friction roller, non-circular gears, or general wheels, okay? So these friction rollers, uh, we can call it as bearings, bearings, ball bearings or bearings. So you have two balls with this, which is, does not have any teeth. It's going to actually move with each other. So uh, either way, if you have two roller pairs, normally you need to make sure that uh, the, the, the designer or the engineer need to make sure that it's, it doesn't have uh, high friction. So it needs to have low friction. If it's high, have high friction, then um oh, sorry for the roller pair you need to have high friction because if you have no friction that is not going to move it's not going to grip with each other so uh if it doesn't grip then it cannot actually move the other end okay second part we go to the translational to translation or we call as uh converting from linear to linear motion so there are two ways you can either use cam and follower, okay, or linkages, okay. So cam and follower that I have shared in the uh, in the engine is different type of cam and follower. That cam and follower is actually rotary linear, okay. But we also have cam and follower in types of traction, uh, linear to linear motion. For for example, we have this cam. If this cam is going to move up and down like this. And it's going to move up and down depending on this um, this fixed part. Eh? So you can see that this part is being fixed here. Okay. So what happens that this uh, roller okay is going to move in this motion, and when it moves in this motion, that is going to have this angle and at this this displacement. Eh? And when it starts to move to this part, it's going to have a larger displacement. And if you draw this, you will get actually a displacement like this, the graph, eh? So displacement, because from here to here, and of course, in the end here, you imagine that you will connect it to a sensor, yeah, a displacement sensor. So this is where you can actually read the movement, okay? okay? And this is type of wedge cam follower. Okay, wedge fund follow, follow means that it's not a straight line. So per, per, perpendicular means that you have an angle. La. It's either 90 degree or at a, 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 a specific angle. Perpendicular, a wedge cam is something that you have a, a slope there. Eh? The wedge cam. Okay. And you have a wedge cam follower also in split position means that the, the cam here, okay, is actually sloped with an angle. Yeah. Okay, so uh, and linkages is something that we have here. Uh, this is type of linkages that you have because if once you have something that is connected like this, then we call this as linkages. Eh? So linkages, if you move, imagine that if you move this block upward, what happens is that this block will be being pulled over to the right side. Eh? So it's going to rotate up here and rotate in this motion. So imagine that this is x axis. It's going to transfer the motion to the y axis. And similar to this concept is that you have the double slider but in, in screw position. Okay. That one would be the rotational to translation motion. Means that from rotary to linear motion. So you can have the cam, okay, cam and follow the one example I gave you for the engine. You have the linkages also can do that with of, of course with specific uh with specific sequence la, or the setup and rack and pinion okay so rack and pinion 
is something that we have similar, to, it looks like a gear over here. Okay, so where is the rack? Where is the pinion? So this, what this we call as the rack, eh? this is the pinion. So rack is something that is going to move in the linear position and the pinion is going to drive it. Okay, so imagine that this uh, pinion, okay, you have a shaft connected to a motor. Yeah, motor. The motor will rotate and I, when it rotate, it will actually rotate the pinion and this pinion will drive the uh, rack slide left and right. Okay. So this is what we call as rack and pinion. And we have also a screw mechanism. Screw mechanism like this, we call it as a ball screw mechanism. Okay. Ball screw mechanism. Eh? Okay. Why is called a ball screw mechanism? Because if you see this one, it looks like a screw. Okay. And the ball screw is where this ball will actually be rotated. So when you rotate, it will actually move this uh, mechanism and yeah, table. Yeah. And next one is the cam and follow. So the cam and follow is similar to what you have in the engine where it will actually open the valve. And yeah. open and close the valve, pull the valve for the air and open the valve for the exhaust uh, air. So, cam and follow is an example of that one in the engine. And then we have also the slider and crank. So, you see that you can actually use it for the rotation to translation also. Reason why? Because of the setup that is being done here. So, you see that the setup here, you are connected to this uh, rod. Link uh, pages is connected to this uh, point. Eh? And this point is can actually move in this setup. Okay. And because of the way you set this up, this is actually loose. Eh? Maybe there's a guiding system for this mask, so it's going to move it in linear. Okay, so when this rotate, this will actually move in linear motion. Next, we have the six bar dual linkages. So this is for dual linkages is something that you have in the simulator for uh, airplane simulator. If anyone right on an airplane simula simulator? Mass airplane simulator. Anyone? The real simulator? For example, if you you, are, you, are, you play video game, eh, this is some simulator that you, when you play video game, it will actually move with you. Okay? If you go to the uh, video game center, I think last time like, during my, my younger age, eh, there was some simulator that when you ride it, you actually move with what, uh, what, uh, the, with the, the view that you are in eh? so that simulator is actually using this concept okay it's going to rotate imagine that it's going to rotate and it's going to actually move you up and down so the simulator for mass airplane have the similar concept because it's going to move and um, simulate the vibration or the turbulence in an airplane eh? turbulence okay turbulence so this this plate platform will actually move around yeah, I have, I've been on as uh, the, the mass simulator, eh? so it's a kind of horror juga lah, actually. Even though it's in a simulator, but inside the cockpit, it's actually look real. And you have the simulator, it looks very real. When you actually um, held on the throttle, eh? we were testing on the landing. Eh? And the landing, the landing was really bad because we crashed onto the ground eh? the landing so when we crash there eh? it's, it's like they, uh, they uh, the, the pilot actually they, he off the the motor vibration eh? means that there's a motor over here right the vibration motor okay connected to motor so means that if the simulator crash land actually for a simulator it will actually give the real response means that it's going you will feel a vibration very bad like, means that you're going to die in that simulator the feeling is like that eh? but because of, um we were trying to test it in out so um the heat off the the vibration motor because i think uh, some people will get a heart attack if they were in the simulator eh? okay if the simulator crash land eh? So uh, it's a good experience if you get to uh, to follow that eh? to to actually try it out. But it's actually quite expensive because I was on a uh, a family day that time. So uh, 
um, not not Newton family, but my 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 husband's uh, batch. Yeah, they have a family, so uh, we have the simulator. I mean, we we ride the simulator. So in the simulator, only can fit three percent, three percent in the cockpit because it's a real cockpit. Eh? Yeah, can third one is the parallel cam follower. So same thing, we have a parallel cam follower. The concept will be the same, similar as this particular. Eh? 